Hello and welcome to an FPGA vision video. Timing verification is an important step in FPGA design and in this video I will show you what happens if you ignore timing verification. As an example we use the VHDL design of an edge detection with a Sobel filter and you find more information about the whole design in separate videos that I have uh, in the FPGA vision lecture. Here in this video we only look at timing verification. In this diagram you see the block diagram of the Sobel filter and uh, it performs several processing steps which are depicted here. After each of these processing steps there is a pipeline stage. The requirement for the circuit is that it should process 720p video and uh, the requirements uh, can be calculated according to that formula. So uh, the clock speed is about 75 megahertz and with that you get a maximum delay that is allowed for the circuit. The delay that is allowed for the circuit is defined in the SDC file and uh, the FPGA tools checks if the timing is fulfilled. Here you have the regular design and as you can see timing verification reports no errors so everything is fine. As a first experiment we now eliminate one of the pipeline stages. We take away a pipeline stage before adding the six values for the Sobel filter. And uh, in the VHDL file this means we change this signal to a variable. And of course also we change the assignment. Now we redo FPGA design. We accelerate the step a bit. And here you see that the timing verification gives us a red warning. So timing is not met. And as you can see, for the worst case, which means we have a slow FPGA and we have 85 degree, this is the critical case, we have a violation of the timing. But this violation is very small. So you cannot release the circuit, but probably if we have a regular design in our lab, we won't see it. Nevertheless, it's not sufficient that it's working in our lab. It should also work in all conditions for the customer. And this is not guaranteed. So um, this timing error is not acceptable. As a second experiment, I would like to show you a visible result of a timing error. And for that, we need a larger timing error. So we remove more of the pipeline stages. We remove all these pipeline stages here in the arithmetic. We redo the FPGA design. And as a result, we see that we now get a much larger timing error. So we now go to the FPGA. We have an input image, which is a street scene. And uh, if we perform edge detection, this is the result of the FPGA. So this is a real recording of the FPGA. And uh, you have to look quite close, but here you can see that uh, you have an error in the processing of the video. So you have a flickering here, and that's a clear indication of a timing error. Of course, it is not acceptable. Uh, you cannot release such a circuit. But even if you don't see such an error in your circuit, it is not acceptable to have timing errors because in your lab everything might be fine, but if you release the system and it goes to a customer, they will have different working conditions, they will have different images, and then an error might occur, which, which is bad for you. So please always do timing verification. I hope you found this example interesting. There are more videos which explain the complete design of the edge detection algorithm. Thank you for your interest.